And a lot of money a lot of these owners just simply can't budget for. And so what we want to try to do is make that accessible for everyone. Obviously, none of us are experts in doing this. So we needed to have partners to work with to help us obtain, obtain these goals by using their expertise, their time, and of course donating materials so that we could significantly reduce the cost of, um, of this process. Um, we also wanted to take the, um, the work off of these landowners and property managers' plates because they are so busy doing a whole lot of other things and running their business that it is a lot of work, and it can be a lot of work to con uh, coordinate. So we wanted to act as their team, helping them through getting all the quotes necessary, and then piecing it out into manageable steps and that work well with their budgets and with their time, okay? Um, so, and then of course we have a, a, some bigger and more important goals as well, which is to create a model that can be used everywhere to make these conversions accessible to, to property owners. And of course, the most important thing, right, is to conserve valuable water resources, right? So um, we start out on we start out on our journey, and um, we actually got our partners together within about a week. <laughs> Everybody was so happy to jump on the bandwagon to do this with us, and we partnered with three amazing companies. The first is Daily Axe. Um, they are a nonprofit out of Petaluma. And they do a lot of amazing work around sustainability, but they primarily do a lot of their work around water conservation efforts. And they actually coordinate volunteers to do community projects, mainly at residential properties, to convert lawns into sustainable landscaping, um, helping um, uh, homeowners convert into gray water systems, things like that. Um, and so what they helped us with is coordinating volunteers to do work. And helping to make sure that while we were there, our volunteers knew exactly what they needed to do. Because like I said, none of us are experts in doing this ourselves. Um, we also wanted to make sure that we, uh, when we talked to the landowners uh, that, and managers, that we were very educated on what needed to be done in order to prepare the space in order to make this a reality. So we contacted Kegwin and Dorn Landscaping Company to help us with all of the, the process and just preparing for it. And they were happy to jump on board and really excited that they were doing this. And um, they, they basically volunteered to contribute a number of different things to the process. So they were gonna go with us on all of our site visits, um, draw, measure all of the lawn space for us, drop all the numbers, and so that these property managers and landowners had a clear vision of what the retail costs would be and then what our donations and time and energies and volunteer work would be and what the cost difference would be, what the return on investment would be. They also are willing in certain cases to donate um, water tolerant plants and things like a front loader which replaces the work of 20 volunteers. Uh, and in certain cases, the materials to put in the drip system so that we can um, save the existing trees and they don't die in the process, which can happen sometimes. <coughs> All right? So we were really happy to have them on board with us as well. And then finally, of course, we um, contacted the city of Petaluma. And the city of Petaluma, with the Mulch Madness program, is willing to donate all of the materials in order to make it happen. <laughs> so, so we were able with our partners to significantly reduce the cost of um, the labor and the materials and the time to making these turf conversions accessible to these landowners for 50 to 75 percent off of what their retail cost would be. Hi, I'm Kenny. Um, so. Uh, the first turf conversion that we did was 1360 Redwood Way in Petaluma. Um, the day started out kind of rough for me. My battery died in my car. Uh, pretty <laughs> kind of far, not really that far away, but still had to get a ride from David. And uh, I was completely in the wrong area, and I thought I was in the right area. So <laughs> <laughs> that, that started rough. And then, so we got there. I got introduced to everybody, and. Uh, 
I was a little like skeptical at first, didn't know how long it would take. I had work later, didn't know what the workload was gonna be like in the first place, and then they explained to us that we just lay it out how it is, and how basically how it sounds, and it's not that that not that complicated at all really. And I, it was just a really good uh, experience to, to be a part of. Um, we save 250,000 gallons of water a year annually by doing this conversion, um, which was the equivalent a year to like a four family, a four person house, two houses. So four, eight people, and I had like saving water savings. Um, when we got there, about 40 or 50 AmeriCorps volunteers showed up to help us with the work, which made the workload a lot easier. Um, they were really into it as well. They were super into getting it done, and they, they were really happy with the outcome as well. And they, they loved the work they did also. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So once we had one project under our belt, uh, the next step was just selling this to other commercial property owners. So we um, got together a meeting of Lily's neighboring commercial property management companies. We invited them all to participate, um, and we just basically demonstrated what we were, what we had put together as far as uh, you know, offering them to take care of volunteers. Um, you know, put it together, uh, making sure that they have to pay for the cost for the mulch, for the cardboard, um, and then you know, just doing all the organizational pieces of putting together a turf conversion project. Our coursework is to do a community project that benefits the earth, sustainability, and our economy in some way. And they want us to do work that we're passionate about. And I have a lot of passion around water conservation, um, thanks to actually Carolyn, who introduced me to the whole um, concept of turf conversions to begin with. Um, and we want to save as much water as possible, especially as we're heading into this mega mega drought. Well, it was uh, it was just a short piece from Lily talking about uh, you know, her just inspiration to do the water conservation project. The commercial property managers. I think it really uh, helps convince them to see Lily's, you know, energy and um, excitement about the, about the project. And then, so as I mentioned, we talked about our partnerships. Uh, we detailed the turf conversion process, what the steps would be to uh, finish the process. We demonstrated the cost savings, um, explained the environmental benefits, and. Uh, we made it as simple as possible, so all they had to do was just say yes to the project. Um, we put together case studies. So this was the proposal that Lily was talking about that Cadbury and Darwin helped put us put together. Um, so on the left-hand column, it showed the regular retail cost. On the right-hand column, on the, in the middle there, it showed what the city was offering, what the labor cost would have been that Daily Apps was helping take care of. Um, they also, we also like, you know, threw out a few different options and possibilities of ways they could do turf conversion. Whether they wanted to add drought tolerant plants and then add irrigation, of course, that project would have been a little bit more expensive. Or um, do what we did at 1360 Redwood, which was just lay down cardboard and the mulch on top of that. With the with the latter. Uh, the return on investment was 1.44 years for the project cost. There was a little bit of prep work involved as far as uh, for just laying down cardboard and mulch. You had to prep the sides so that when you lay down the mulch, the mulch just didn't fall off the grass area into the sidewalks. So that's where most of that cost was. And it was pretty close to 300,000 gallons of, of water safe per year. So going forward, um, what our plan is, through um, Lily's diligent efforts in communicating with her uh, fellow business park residents, um, we have the potential to do nine new projects. Uh, initially, we had hoped to be able to save one million gallons of water a year, and that at the time seemed rather ambitious. Uh, now we're staring at 
over 5 million gallons of water. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, as Lily mentioned, none of us really had a lot of experience in doing this work. I had done a conversion at my house through the Petaluma program, um, small scale compared to some of the things that we're looking at now. But we all knew it was the right project. And um, ironically, just before we had our first client meeting, or our client meeting to, to pitch the, the program, uh, Governor Brown came out with a declaration stating that He's requesting 25% cutbacks on water usage, as well as converting over a million square feet um, of turf into mulch for sustainable plants. It's such a great help when the governor of the state <laughs> 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 really helped us a lot. Um, but during the course of our conversions, um, the conversion with Daily Acts that Kenny was talking about, you could really see the ripples begin to uh, occur if I could steal their their turn. Um, as fellow business owners or folks walking on the street came by and they saw this assemblage of 50 AmeriCorps volunteers <coughs> diligently spreading mulch and laying out cardboard, um, everyone asked, you know, is this a program we can get involved in? I think we had some contacts as a result of, of that. So presence, showing up is everything, again, as, as we grew here. Um, so, Let's see, as we're working forward, uh, as we're all working on these projects, we, we all realize that this is just the beginning. This is not, the, the project is not the end. And we know from what these nine projects represent, we probably have about two years of work ahead of us to, to, to manage these projects to fruition. And beyond that, we don't really know. Um, it's, it's an impressive list of projects that we're staring at. And we're all committed, as Lily said, to, to take these uh -huh. on. Um, so but there's a lot more work to do. We're going to need volunteers from every corner, uh, including this room. And beyond that, um, you know, leaders from the next leadership class uh, are welcome to jump in and take the baton from us and carry it forward.